the Moodle Equation Editor available from Moodle 2.7 and onward works really well to display mathematical notation in your Moodle pages. Unless you are a Chrome user like I am. If you are a Chrome user, you'll see that even though the equation displays correctly, you always get this vertical line that trails each one of your equations or expressions created by the Moodle text uh, equation editor. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick and dirty way to get rid of those uh, vertical lines and explain a little bit of why those are appearing. Well, basically, the Moodle editor, Moodle equation editor works using a, um, a JavaScript that's known as MathJax to display uh, tech, which is a scripting language that displays math, math notation and other um, publishing notation. Now, the, there is a known bug in the MathJax script that causes Chrome to, to uh, display this vertical line. Since Moodle 3.0 came out, that bug has been fixed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and grab the code for the latest MathJax from the MathJax website and put it directly into our page and see what happens. So we're going to go over to the MathJax website and it's just mathjax.org. And once you get there, you just go to documentation and you'll see in this documentation section, it says to quick start with our CDN. Don't worry about what, what that means. Just copy this snippet. So if we grab this code and go back to our page, we want to put that code directly into our page and see what happens. So. We go down to our, this is where our equations are written, and we again want to open up the, um, the, the additional buttons um, window, and we want not to go directly to the editor, but instead we want to go to HTML. And this will give us the actual scripts that are being used to display this page. So I click on that, and I'm going to put a space in there and I'm just going to paste that code that we just copied directly into that space. And so when I return to the editor, you'll notice that you don't see any of that code. That code is always going to be hidden, but that when I go and save my page, the vertical lines are now gone. So it's as simple as that. Let me just go over those steps again. First thing you do, go down to the MathJax website, go to documentation, we'll bring you here, click on copy this snippet, copy that little bit of code, go back to your page, edit settings, and go into the HTML editor and we gen then just input the code right here. So I'm going to delete that, copy it back in, save, and you're all done. It shows it perfectly. Uh, I'm going to include the link to the MathJax site in the description so that you won't have to worry about searching it on Google. And I hope this helped.